right. So I wanted to ask you what your favorite scent is from Vim and Vigor. So right now with the holidays, my leading into the holidays started got in like September this year. I have been burning the cider and cedarwood. Oh, yum. That smell, it's kind of like mulled cider with some spice, some cinnamon, and some woodsy notes. It's just, especially here in Phoenix, it's been so hot. Like September, we hit like crazy highs. I think it was like 110 for oh my the gosh. majority of it. <laughs> but it's nice that inside it smells like fall, even though outside felt like summer. Well, we're skipping fall completely around here. It snowed yesterday over here in Kansas City. So, oh my gosh. Um, so wow. we, we're just heading right on into the holidays. <laughs> Do you guys um, feel like your favorite scents change seasonally then? Yeah, there's, I guess, we're, it's, I guess, one of the perks of being a candle maker is yeah. <laughs> you have access to a lot of candles. But yeah, I mean, for summer, I was loving our blackberry and lime fizz. It smelled like, if you close your eyes, you can almost picture yourself by a pool drinking a cocktail with friends around. <laughs> I love it. So then, yeah, for fall, I like the warmer tones. And then closer to Christmas, I'll burn our holly berry and fir candle that basically smells like a fresh cut Christmas tree. It's amazing. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you see any sort of scent trends um, besides the seasonality of it? Yeah, so I think... I mean, I, we saw it even when we first started back in 2016, um, but even more so now with COVID and everything, it's just this draw for customers to, one, want to know what is going into the candle and make sure that it's high quality oils that are clean and healthy and I guess non-toxic and just this natural vibe. They like they're really drawn to our copper and our natural wood vessels because it, it's like a natural material that they can use to add to their home decor too. It's not just your typical glass candle. Um, and then the repurposing factor. I feel like I'm just seeing this trend towards natural. They want natural elements in their home. They want natural ingredients going into the goods that they use. They want the goods that they use to be sustainable in one way or another. So like with our candles, we can repurpose the container really easily. Um, so yeah, I think it, in general, I feel like everyone is way more health conscious now, of course, and just more in tune with what they're buying and what they're buying is made with. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Um, I can totally understand the whole COVID situation making you feel like you need that kind of coziness in your home. You're spending so much more time there. Um, so are you seeing a lot of, um, a lot of scents that maybe play into that? Yes, for sure. I mean, throughout the summer, it was all like the coconut limes and the blackberry lime fizz, uh, like our citrusy scents. I think uh -huh. I have two of my sisters have kids and I mean their network the mom network is incredible and yeah they, I mean everyone is just we need diffusers we need candles like I, just <laughs> feel like I haven't been in this house for two for 10 days straight right um, just like a little escape so we've been doing things on our social media too to kind of play into that of like here's a candle for your home so it doesn't smell like you guys have all been in there for <laughs> 10 days and then here's a candle for you to like have a little me time by yourself at the end of homeschooling <laughs> 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 well, it's, it's I love that it's reliever and I I think I mean the feedback we've gotten is at least when it comes to sense is people are way more in tune with what they it smells like home, like whatever that smell may be for them, whatever they are attracted to, but it's, they only want that scent because that scent is then their like designated home scent. That makes sense. Do you guys ever um, create like a signature scent for a wedding party or something like that? Yeah, we do. So we'll customize the containers for weddings all the time. People will do their first and last names with their wedding date or bridesmaid type gifts. And then 
custom scents we have for especially destination weddings. Mm -hmm. um, we had like a customer in Florida that was doing a beach wedding. This was obviously last year, but <laughs> wanted something like beachy, like salty air, but fresh, not, they didn't want any fruit or citrus or anything. And they were like, we just want to capture that. Like, I guess, fresh sea air. So we made a scent for them. It's fun to, I love doing stuff like that because it gets, it brings me back to the creative side of making candles, like developing scents that people really love. And it's special for a wedding because it's something they'll always remember. Yeah, I love that. And it'll always take them back to that day. Yeah. That's really cool. I love that. Um, what are your favorite ideas that you've seen people using your repurposed containers for? Oh, man. The, I mean, the succulent thing never gets old for me. It yeah. looks so cute. Like, they just look so good with a, like a, either herbs or a succulent. Just the greenery of it mm -hmm. bounces off the copper in, in an amazing way. Um, for the wood, I love when I see people using them as their coffee and tea mugs. Oh, that's a great idea. Perfect for that. They even fit in a cup holder. And it won't ever get hot, so you'll never burn your hand. But it's the perfect size for like a cup of tea at the end of the night or coffee in the morning. I have friends that have it set up with their espresso machines and looks all fancy, but. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. We did, um, so during COVID in our boredom, <laughs> crazy, we tried to think of out of the box ideas. Yeah. For this one, so this is a clock we made. That's so cute. Kids. I was noticing that in the background. Yeah, it's, we did that and we did, um, we made, remember that old game of telephone with like a cup and a string? Yeah. We did one of those. Fun. Um, I made, I took a little strand of outdoor lights and we just drilled holes in the bottom of small cups and put them on the light. So then it became a re actually really nice outdoor like lantern. That's a fun idea too. I love that. We use them for makeup brush holders around yes. here. <laughs> That's my bathroom too. Makeup brush, Q-tips, cotton balls, they're all in a little set. Yes, yeah, so cute. I love them. Do you have a, um, a suggestion for a bride that wants to give a, a gift to their bridesmaid? Like what kind of scent would you suggest that might be a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like universal, I guess. So like not something super polarizing. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, our sea salt and avocado scent, I have yet to see someone say they don't like it. Um, That's our favorite. The basil scent is awesome too. It's just like your clean kitchen scent. Okay. Um, I feel like those two are kind of perfect. The tobacco amber is also really good for men and women. Um, so for brides trying to help their fiancés out getting groomsmen's gifts too or for like their wedding favor they could do a small one and tobacco amber I mean men and women alike that's always been our best seller awesome those are three of my favorites that you guys have so 100% agree with you on all fronts <laughs> um, is there anything that you want to share that we haven't covered Um, I guess just, I guess I would say the customization piece. And I mean, the beauty of us being a small shop is and hand pouring all of the candles is the custom factor is endless. I mean, we can do custom match boxes. We can do custom diffusers. We can do custom scents. We can, I have a, actually a bride I'm talking to right now that wants to do solid perfume for all of her bridesmaids. And she's like, have you ever made that? I'm like, no, I haven't. But we have all of the ingredients here in house. So I don't see why not. So we're testing and playing around with that. Like I'm open to a challenge and we love doing custom pieces, especially for weddings. Cause it's a takeaway that people will actually use and enjoy and appreciate. And for the bride and groom, it's something that will always remind them of that day. 
I love that. That's so much fun. And I love that you're always up for that challenge. So um, <laughs> I'm sure that you will have a whole bunch of weddings that are rescheduling and rethinking all of their, their favors as like micro ceremonies and mini monies come into play. Um, those will be such great favors for their families. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, the wedding, I have a couple of friends that had to postpone. It's been, it's hard. Yes. It's been a challenge for sure. We've been seeing a lot of that around here as well. Um, or they have a small ceremony now and with a dinner and then they plan a party for their anniversary the next year. Um, so that's, yeah, there, we've had quite a few people that have decided to do that. Now, when it comes to, you know, to the time for next year, whether or not they actually follow through <laughs> with those plans, well, <laughs> that remains to be seen. But <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like after they, uh, they get done with their dinner at, on that wedding day, they are kind of over it and might not be as interested in that party next year. <laughs> yeah. I have one friend that she wants a big wedding, very yeah. big, like 500 plus people. Oh, and wow. Not willing to budge on it. But so they, I think we're scheduled for October 2021 and now it's a 2022. Oh, no. Which is so crazy. It's like you were, they bought a house and we're ready for this whole thing. And now it's like, okay, we'll be married in two years. Oh my gosh. We, we've had a lot of people that have gone to um, like the courthouse and done uh, their marriage license and kind of just forgotten the whole party thing until it's safe to do so uh, for the same reason. It's like, oh, well, we we're already <laughs> committed. We bought a house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. I have my, one of my best friends from kindergarten, her brother-in-law, got his, I don't know what you call it, his license to like wed. Oh, yeah. Uh, when they got married, because they got married in the church and then did like a ceremony with everyone outdoors. So the brother did it. He's, <laughs> we were joking the other day that he should start like offering that. Like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, he could come to your backyard and marry you. <laughs> It's like I should get a van. It'll be like mobile wedding ceremonies. Uh, that's great. Well, thanks again. And uh, it was finally, it was nice to finally put a face with your name. And I hope to talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.